So the GOP debate in South Carolina happened, and if you haven't checked out the video where we talk about Donald Trump dropping some truth bombs during that GOP South Carolina debate, please go check it right now. Click here or there and go check that out. But right now, they asked Ben Carson, because the Scalia died, Justice Scalia died. Mm, pretend upset. And, uh, <laughs> hey, sorry, not sorry. And um, you're not supposed to say, we have another video where I talk about it's okay to make fun of people who die if they're powerful and assholes. <laughs> so don't check out that video. But they asked, so the moderator at the GOP debate in South Carolina asked Ben Carson, Ben Carson, you just wrote a book on the Constitution. What the heck is supposed to happen now when a Supreme Court justice dies in the last year, in the last year of a president's term? What happens? This is the question for Ben Carson. You've written a book on the Constitution recently. What does the Constitution say about whose duty it is here to act in this kind of a situation? Well, the Constitution actually doesn't address that particular situation. But the fact of the matter is... You've written a book? The fact of the matter is, um, I don't know a goddamn thing about the Constitution, because if I just... That book was ghostwritten. That's the fact of the matter. <laughs> what? The Constitution... I'm going to... Let's play it again. You've written a book on the Constitution recently. Okay, you've written a book. What does the Constitution say about whose duty it is here to act in this kind of a situation? Well, the <clears throat> Constitution actually doesn't address that particular situation. <laughs> he, oh, yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, you know, normally uh, every time a Supreme Court justice dies, we just go willy-nilly. Once, sometimes we let a guy just like uh, anybody who delivers the food to the court, he just goes, hey, I'll nominate somebody. Sometimes we have someone's cousin nominate a guy. Sometimes we just, uh, everybody put names in a hat, and then we pull names. That's how, uh, so every time this happens, it's willy-nilly. I wish it was in the Constitution. So we all know it's in the Constitution. Well, he's read the beginning. Because he recited it. He recited the remember, we the people the preamble. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's, he's he's maybe he just hasn't gotten to that part yet. Well, he wrote a whole book about the Constitution. So here, so then uh, a little bit of the debate goes on, and um, how sweet is this? And uh, you can tell by the way the so anyway the debate goes on, and they ask Ben Carson another question. Somebody must have said something in his ear or something at the break, and watch how he handles this. Uh, first of all, let me uh, go back to your uh, first question for me. Uh, it wasn't phrased as who gets to uh, nominate Supreme Court uh, appointees. Of course, that's the president. So I know that there's some left wing media who would try to make hay on that. You know how the left wing media is always making hay about stuff we say that's stupid? <laughs> You know when I, you, you know when I'm when I write a book on the Constitution and then I say something completely contradictory. Go ahead. Well, when a top candidate for the highest office in the land who wrote a book about the Constitution doesn't know something that we expect sixth graders to to know, to know the left wing media is going to try to make hay on oh, that. Oh, you, oh, left wing media. <laughs> yes, I said something completely incorrect about the Constitution. Arr! NBC News. <laughs> and also, I've, I've heard that the Constitution has a, a, a pursuit of something. I didn't get that far. I got to the pursuit <laughs> chunk. You know, life, liberty, and the pursuit. The, the, I, I fell asleep before it's I got always, to it. It's a, you talk about some a deficit in, in, in child rearing. These guys take responsibility for nothing. He doesn't take responsibility for something he just said. Somebody else, you got to twist that thing and repeat what I said verbatim. Ugh. Those left-wing media running around telling the truth. Ugh. So at Dr. Ben Carson's Amazon page for his book about the Constitution entitled The More Perfect Union, he says, you know, many people have wondered why I've been speaking out on controversial issues for the last few years. They say, hey, I've never held political office. I'm not a constitutional scholar. I'm not even a lawyer. All I can say to that is guilty as charged. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, we just saw how you answered the Supreme Court justice question at the debate. We get that you're not any of those things. You're guilty as charged. Which qualifies him to write a book about the Constitution. That that's that's It's, it's great how they brag about not— Only Republicans brag about not knowing stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really does fit perfectly with the anti-elite thing. It and, does. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not an egg— I, I don't, Yeah, I didn't study the Constitution. I'm not a lawyer. I didn't go to law school. But I wrote a book about this thing, and I kind of perused it a little. Mm -hmm.